Welcome back to the tutorial in which we are going to create the basement of apartment. This contains of walls, ceiling and floors. So firstly let's create a simple rectangular plane. Uh, and now place a texture of the plan on, on it. So just import apartment plan. You can find this image in additional files folder and open it and just like that put in on and I I have measured that this wall should be about uh, well uh, 7500 millimeters so type in this and you see now that our texture is a little bit too big so right click texture and position we are going to make it smaller smaller sorry for a mistake and this is something about it yeah it's almost good it's good now delete the necessary line and the move tool do the same what I'm doing and I am making it more clear yeah it's good now well the main thing we are going to do is to play the line tool it's really simple I will show you how to and you can continue yourself in this way I'm saving some time uh, and uh, just leave a balcony I will show you how to create it uh, correctly okay so <laughs> it's real simple just click the corner and just drag the line click the corner and drag the line well after you are done you will receive such a result. You will have three different and separated planes as I said and balcony and balcony. So let's see what we have in balcony. In balcony uh, this line is not right angled so but uh, the outside and inside line should be parallel so let's make it okay the thing is really simple also now create a separate plane we have it and now use your offset tool for about 100 millimeters and it's almost done but we need some configuration select uh, while holding control on your keyboard select uh, these lines four lines and drag them the, the uh, keyboard using arrows on your keyboard also for about not for about but just for 100 millimeter delete the necessary lines and you will have a four different planes. Now to make it a flat, we gonna extrude uh, these planes for about 2,500 millimeters. Well, you see there are now a texture on the walls, but we do not need it anymore so just click right click and delete it and you see now it's gone but we have some unused materials on uh, on this on this sorry about we <laughs> miss the word we have unused materials so just remove them uh, so go to window model info uh, statistics and purge unused 
Yeah, it's good now. We have a dark gray color. I like it. it. So, just let's continue. Extrude the <coughs> planes which are left. And now we need some configuration. And I will show you how to make it. To make it more realistic and model and rendering also, we have to give some architecture to this apartment. So let's connect these walls. For about, let's type in for about uh, 200. Connect this one and this one line. And the pushpull tool, connect faces. Before that, if you want to be more quickly, two clicks to select the plane, grab the corner, and with control, pushing control on your keyboard, you can copy it. And copy also to the bedroom. Now it's very simple. Connect. This always happens to me. Connect and connect. Oops, I see a mistake there. You might be, you might have face them also. So just correct the push pull tool them. Okay, if you want, you can delete the necessary lines. Something is not good there. Now it's good. Okay, let's make a place for uh, doors to the bedroom and to the bathroom. And well, the height is 2500, so leave 2 meters for the door. And it's left to type in 500. Connect and the push pull tool extrude and fix do the same thing with bathroom doors oops sorry 500 connecting and pushing when you're done with we need a uh, to make a place for windows in this wall and this wall. It's a balcony, so let's just use offset tool. I'm sorry, just select the plane, use offset tool and type in 200. Also 200 on this wall. 200. Use your push pull tool as always. Select corner while holding, and you will have an empty space. Do the same thing there. Very nice. Okay, let's make a floor. Well, the floor is almost done, but uh, if you have just a one plane, you will have some uh, a V ray will create some artifacts in the corner. So just double the plane, one click to drag it, click Ctrl to drag to copy, and make it about 500. And it's not done yet. Click a line and fill these planes. It's good now. You can remove if you want these lines. And now it's a time for ceiling. Well, we can create ceiling just uh, we have just like that how we created the floor. But while we are be modeling some furniture appliances, uh, ceiling can make uh, our work uncomfortable. So just uh, create a ceiling and make it a group to 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 make it easily hidden. Create 
three, maybe the four lines, erase and use lines, select them, the control on your keyboard, right click and make a group. When you are done, you will have four separate planes and you can extrude them control and for about 200 do the same things as I do and now just make this this and this okay it's perfect now it's really perfect, V-Ray won't create was unused, uh, unneeded, sorry about that, unneeded uh, artifacts. And in the next lesson I will show you how to create the bundles. So see you.